passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. It's the fourth quarter crowd. Get up! Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Garland and Sexton are in the backcourt. Nance Jr. and Allen down low. And it's Okoro in a small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Allen. And the layup is good after a nice leap pass. Boy, exhibiting toughness right there and persistence. Allen might have been fouled on that inside basket. Down low. Here's Schroeder. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got assist number five here tonight. The Cavs trailing. The drive by Garland over Schroeder. Garland no good. The Lakers shooting the ball at 46% from the floor. Here's Caldwell Pope. And misses it off the right side of the rim. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, you see the hustle from Allen there, guys, and his relentlessness and the mindset to keep at it really allows him to gobble up those offensive boards. Now, here is James. Here's Schroeder. That one no good. Nice D from Allen. Looking to get it going. Rejected by James. And it's out of bounds for the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. For the Cavaliers, Love is checked in for Nance. And Prince is subbed in for Sexton. Andre Drummond is checked in for the Lakers. Davis comes in for Kuzma. On defense, the Lakers. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Earning the trip to the stripe that time. Allen constantly on the move, which makes him hard to guard. Jared Allen. Two shots. First free throw is good. Boy, well, you know, you look at the raw athleticism of Allen. Very enticing. I mean, he's a quick-footed, shot-blocking big guy. He's got a great future in this league, in my opinion. And he can't hit the second. Even with the miss. He got the big one there to put him in front. Garland against Schroeder. Outside for Davis. And again, no good by the Lakers. Pass to Akuro. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, he's got to play without foul. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Cavaliers? They've made the long-range shot look like a layup at times in this one. Something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's, um, that's a mark of a good club. The first free throw is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. For Los Angeles, they've gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Inside Schroeder. Inside. That one's good from James on the assist from Schroeder. And you know, we all know Schroeder can score now, but they're a nice assist to his wide open teammate. At the line for Cleveland, Jared Allen. Two shots.
He misses the free throw. Good on the second one. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Now here's Schroeder. Shots good by James. James has gotten four this quarter. You know, at six foot eight, with the ball skills that James has, he handles it like a guard. He can get wherever he wants to off the dribble. And it comes off the front of the rim. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. And the shot goes down. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. The Lakers have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Oh, there's the alley. And Davis slams it home. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley oop. Oh, that's good. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. The Lakers in the lead. Now James. Pass to Davis. Outside Schroeder. Six to shoot. Here's James. It's James with the jazz. And you know, we've come to expect this from LeBron James, guys. I mean, when his team needs a bucket, he rises to the occasion. Here's Prince to the left side wing. Here's Love. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. To Davis. James, right side. That one falls. Coming off Davis. Davis feed. And now a six point Laker lead. Yeah, you watch LeBron play, and it's obvious he gets more joy out of passing to his teammates and setting them up and scoring himself. But tonight, he's feeling it. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's had. And so it's the Lakers with it. The Cavs getting their last shot to go to the middle. Here's Schroeder. It's stolen by Garland. And now the Cavaliers on the break. And it's Allen who slams it home. You know, Allen really moves well for a player of his size. He's always hustling. That set up the fast break finish there. 141 left to play in the fourth quarter. Schroeder against Garland. Pass to James. Here's Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Really a good decision turning to Drummond in this spot. Needing a big basket, and he goes and gets it. Here's Allen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Allen's got 26 points. Boy, Kevin Love certainly is one of the best passing big men in the league. Now, here is James. And slam dunk by James. Elevating his aggressiveness and level of play in moments like this. LeBron, as clutch as they come. Now here's Allen. Garland for three. Sinks the tray. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Now here's James. Tight defense on him. Fifty-nine seconds left in the final quarter. James passes to Davis. Here's Caldwell Pope. Three-pointer off the mark. And here are the Cavaliers now to take the lead. Oh, nails the triple. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Timeout called. The Lakers. They're down by two. 43 seconds left to play in the fourth.
present the New Balance Player of the Game, Jared Allen. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow. So impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. During that break, Coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. He's trying to keep them grounded. He told them to focus on the task at hand. He said, quote, drown out the noise, and let's play our game. This one has that playoff atmosphere. Back to you guys. And Allie, thank you for that. Here's Schroeder. And he buries it. And he's tied it up. What a shot. Schroeder not backing away from the important shot. He knows how to deliver in a big way. How to go out and make it happen. Here's Prince. Pass to Apuro. Back to Garland. Let's it go from deep. And the Cavaliers. Another three. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. The Lakers call timeout. They trail by three. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth. Your thoughts, guys? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And they foul intentionally. Now, they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds in time. Los Angeles ball. There's 18 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Offensive rebound. Misses from close range. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Gives him a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. Huge moment. He steps up and sinks the final daggers. Outside Schroeder. The Lakers with another miss. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. Maybe a step.